How you doing guys? Uh, we're going to do a quick test of the new compressor, uh, compressor 4.2. And we got a uh, test video file we're going to render here. This is about a minute and six seconds um, that we're going to do, which should speed up the test a little bit. And basically what we did from within Final Cut Pro 10, uh, send a compressor, uh, which we already done right now. And I'm going to show you the, this is the older version compressor, by the way. And uh, this is version 4.1.3, which we're going to be testing with the new version 4.2. So we already got it imported uh, to compressor um, 720p. And um, this is going to be H.264 single pass, which also speed up the test a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, we're going to shut these uh, two windows here before we start it. And uh, we're starting batch now. And uh, I'm going to come back when it's finished. We'll see the t uh, finish time. Okay, just to show you here, the processor is not really being used, uh, the GPU, and uh, just very little. And uh, we're going to come back and finish the times and do that with the uh, new compressor version. Okay, just to show you here, um, the one minute video is successfully completed at one minute, 49 seconds, um, which you can see right here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install the uh, new compressor version 4.2, and hopefully we're going to get the uh, GPU rendering to work, and uh, we're also going to calculate uh, the time it takes to finish for that. Uh, finish installing the uh, new compressor um, 10.2 oh excuse me um, the new Final Cut Pro 10 10.2 and the new compressor 4.2 updates and so we sent the compressor just like the uh, previous test and we have it in here now and sa exact same file uh, it should be a minute and six seconds uh, using of course exactly the same settings h264 single pass um, so we're going to go ahead and hide the this right here. We're going to go ahead and start batch. And just like so. And we're going to let it go because we also want to check to see if the uh, GPU is going to be used. We're going to uh, give it a uh, little time. And hopefully we're going to see it uh, use the GPU. Yes, as you can see, we are getting a little bit of GPU action. Maybe 10% uh, uh, or so. So let's go ahead and pause this uh, so it won't affect the test and take a look at the results. Okay, there we go. Um, you look at the complete time for the uh, new compressor 4.2 using the GPU. It actually got faster than real-time rendering. Uh, final time output was 48 seconds. Um and compared to uh, the old compressor using just the software uh, CPU cores, which is at about a minute 49. So great update for Final Cut Pro 10 and, of course, compressor 4.2.